In matrix transformations in A-level further maths, there's a specific type of question where it gives you the equation of a straight line and you want to find the matrix that represents a reflection in that straight line. Now there's this format that I've written out here and we can apply that to this scenario here. So y equals tan theta x, we can replace that with y equals 2x, in which case tan theta would be equal to 2. You can then apply the inverse tan to both sides to get that theta is the inverse tan of 2 which you can do it in radians or degrees, I believe it's 63.4 degrees, but I'd honestly store that value in your calculator just so you can input it now into this matrix, which will then give the matrix that represents a reflection in that line. So in our case, we do cos of 2 theta, which would actually be um, minus 3 fifths. We do sine of 2 theta, which would actually be 4 fifths. That repeats here. And then here we do minus cos of 2 theta, which is just a positive 3 fifths now. So essentially, if you apply this matrix to um, another term um, in your sort of plane, then that would represent a reflection of that matrix that you applied it to in the line y equals 2x. Be sure to like the video if it helped and subscribe. I'd appreciate it a lot. I'll upload a lot more about 2x2 two two and 3x3 three three matrix transformations, so look out on my uh, YouTube channel. Thanks for watching your video. I hope it helped. If you have any tutoring inquiries for A-Level Further Maths, be sure to hit my website up at www.excelineducation.co.uk.